The Netherlands is one of the countries that has a drug testing service. It's a spot where you can take a pill, like this one, hand it to the person across from you, and they will test it for you for about 2 euros 50, so you know what kind of substance is actually in there. And somebody who works there told me a story the other day. He often gets users in there who are all disappointed because their pill is only 150 milligrams. Keep in mind that a normal dosage for anyone is about 70 to 120 milligrams. But, as this person told me, they laugh at you in your face when you tell them it's under 200 milligrams. What happened here? Why did pills become so strong? And why do users expect them to be much stronger than they need to be? First, some facts. Ecstasy is the street name for MDMA in a pill form. There's usually the misconception that there should be other things in there, but that's wrong and that's not what this video is about. That's actually what this video is about. This video is about the fact that pills have risen from about 80 milligrams 10 years ago to about 140 milligrams now. These numbers come from the testing services we have here in the Netherlands and they're actually pretty good to go on worldwide because we're not only one of the main consumers of ecstasy, this country is also one of the main producers of it. So our pills basically go around the world. When it comes to dosage, a 100 milligram pill is usually enough for most people. Kind of a rule of thumb is that you take your weight in, uh, in kilos, not in pounds, and uh, you multiply it by 1.5 and then you get the amount of milligrams that will probably get you your desired effect. So what is that desired effect? Well, let me explain it by taking a bottle of wine. Yes, because understanding how dosing alcohol works makes you understand why it's a problem there are strong pills. With alcohol, a user just gets a glass and doses it bit by bit. The more she or he takes, the more drunk the user gets. Well, the internet is full of assholes who think they're cool because they chuck down a whole bottle of alcohol. Now imagine you don't need any physical skills to do this, because of all the toxic power of a bottle of vodka is just concentrated into one little pill. Without any labeling that tells you if you're taking a shot of Bud Light or downing a full bottle of Jack Daniels. So why on earth are there pills that are 330 milligrams? Well, I asked one of the producers of these pills and he said it was a pissing contest between the makers. The creators of these pills want to show off how good their production process is. It's kind of hard to make an ecstasy pill, they say, and cramming as much MDMA in there as possible is kind of, you know, like a good trick. And when I asked him if he didn't feel responsible for, you know, that somebody might take this pill not knowing it was 330 milligrams, he said, no, of course I don't feel responsible. People are responsible to educate themselves. Well, that's the producers. As for consumers, I can only kind of guess why the demand for strong pills has become so high. Maybe because people just like higher numbers and bigger is better, which in this case it isn't. But it could also be one of the loopholes that is here in uh, Holland. When I'm a user and I get caught with one pill and one pill only, a cop will just take it away and I will not get a fine. It's being seen as a user quantity and the Dutch government usually doesn't go after users. I guess I'm in violation because there's another one here. But that aside, there is now an incentive to actually cram as much MDMA in here as possible. Because if I take this pill to say a festival and I, it will last me for three days and I only have to break it into smaller pieces, it's actually a way to get ecstasy with you and not really get caught. Whether consumers like it or not, these strong pills are now a fact of life. So if you have a testing service where you live, then you should use it. But for everybody that consumes MDMA, there is now a new rule in town. And it is, never ever take a full pill at once. Always break off a small piece first and then see how that goes. And then take more if you want to. But the times of taking full pills are over. You always break off a little piece. Or you can, of course... Don't do drugs.